My name is Justin Holetic. I work with the DNR and the Water Administration Division, and I've been working in the Lincoln Field Office for about 10 years now. And today we're going to head out to make an ice measurement at one of our locations in the Lincoln Field Office. And this one will be a little different than our other routine measurements. Uh, we'll have to take a couple different pieces of equipment uh, to get this measurement done. First thing we do when we get out here, we're going to take a wire weight and get an inside reading. Um, usually, when it's iced over like this, the, the bubbler and the equipment inside doesn't read very well. Um, has a hard time determining the stage when there's ice cover. So we'll see what it looks like when we get down there. Just taking an inside reading at the gauge house. Uh, its last reading at 1015 was 60 feet of stage. So as oftentimes happens in time of ice with a bubble line at a gauging site, it's froze up. So it, you know, there's probably 56 feet of unreal stage there. It should be reading at about 4.3 or so. And so we'll go down and we'll chip out a wire weight. And we probably also will chip a section around where the bubble line goes in to hopefully improve our readings through this ice period. So ice measurements are a little different. It requires different equipment. So we're gonna head out there with our spud bars and ice auger. Uh, the first thing we'll do is, is kind of test the ice thickness. A lot of times you get a good feeling for it just watching the weather. Um, so around here, it's been very cold the last week or two. So we know that the ice is probably gonna be safe. Um, we'll go out and drill a hole right away and, and see what we got for ice depth and make our decision based off that. So Lucas is gonna drill a hole now to get to drop the wire weight down to get an accurate stage reading. Uh, and you can see this pipe coming down over here. That is our bubble line. As you can tell, it's really iced over right in that area. And so that's why the inside stage reading uh, is reading about 60 feet when it should be quite a bit lower. So Lucas just drilled the hole down here and we're dropping the wire weight down now to get an accurate stage reading. Um, as you can see, this bubble line comes in right over here and it is completely iced over. So we're gonna chip around that too to try to open up the area a little bit. So we got the tag line set up across the stream channel over here. And now the guys are drilling holes to get ready to dunk the flow tracker in to see what we got going on under the ice. Today is pretty poor weather. Uh, the high temperature is below freezing, but we still think it's important to come out and collect this data. That way we can get an understanding of the stream in all environmental conditions. You can see in the stream profile here, we've got multiple layers uh, where you can see ice has frozen and refrozen. There are a lot of temperature fluctuations and sometimes chunks of this stream are open water and sometimes they're fully ice covered and so you can see these lines here showing that this is frozen and refrozen now that we've got these holes drilled um, we put the flow tracker in there and over here troy is measuring the ice draft so we're seeing how thick the ice actually is and we'll enter that into the device also um, and then we'll just put the flow tracker in each hole and move along down the line so when we're creating these rating tables we keep in mind that in science there is always good and bad data that you can collect and so we want to make sure we weed out the outliers or take note of the poor data or poor quality data that way we can use the higher quality data to make our rating curves even though it's bad weather today at DNR, we still like to go out and collect this data to ensure that our stakeholders have access to consistent and quality data year round.